What do you like about muscle dogs? What's I, your favorite thing about them? I like that they could kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I like that if they just like lifted a finger and it touched my throat, I, I would die 100%. So you're a muscle girl TikTok fan? Oh yeah. It's hard to put into words what living in Japan is completely like because I there's no words to be really said that would make sense of it in terms of like what I do. Um, I like it, but it has its downsides. And I like the convenience of it. I don't like say <laughs> just. Like the 1 to 100. I feel like it's very common in Japan where it's like, if you get a noise complaint, it's, an, and it's very, like, Japanese people don't really like to be confrontational, so what they'll do is instead of like saying, hey, can you turn your music down a little bit, you know, they'll call the cops. And um, I've had that done before, um, and, you know, it's, that's just, you know, did that answer it? I don't know if I just went on a tangent. I have honestly no idea. No, no, that was, that was... Good. How do you find, by the way, you know, some of these bars that you find or services, do you just walk and go, oh, there it is, or sometimes you've got to have someone go, hey, go over here? Um, no, I actually find most of the bars myself. It's actually quite easy because um, you go to one place that has a really unique bar, usually a lot in that one building, there's a lot of them. Um, and also I tend to look at the, sometimes they advertise themselves using like, uh, concept of law on like Instagram. Um, and I look up, you know, what they're advertising, you know, what do they do. And a lot of them are also very much interconnected to each other. So if they like want, if they're like, oh, I have a sister bar that also is, you know, about this and that and the other. And it's like, okay. And it, it kind of goes from that aspect, really. Okay. Uh... I think we have some time for some questions hey! from the audience. And a reminder, I know you can try and keep them G-rated. Because Ooh. you're all very clever and you might be able to ask a question Just like that. Uh, so does anyone have any questions? Only two people, that's fantastic. What the heck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, okay, we've got someone with the microphone. Uh, I think we have some one person here, and then we'll put another one. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, good. Um, I was just wondering, you know, obviously the content that you do, and being a female, there's a lot of stigma around, you know, girls that are like very into like, their sexuality and and whatnot. Um, how did you kind of deal with all of that and kind of flip it on its head? And, being powered by it. Honestly, I think anybody who kind of has the opinion that girl, I mean, <laughs> it's so stupid. Anybody who has that opinion of like, oh, just because you're a girl, you can't like, it's cool. It, it, yeah, it's like, honestly, it, it, I just don't have the energy to feel anything towards it because it's like, that's just stupid. And honestly, it's it's kind of like, if you're breathing and they're like, oh, you're not breathing. And it's like, well, why would you say I'm not breathing? I'm like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And so I feel like, although it would be, if somebody was like, there's a lot, and there is a lot, I get a lot of either like unsolicited uh, pictures, or I get a lot of insults saying, you know, I'm a disgrace to women. Honestly, it kind of comes with the territory of anything. You, there's always going to be a little sin of something. It's just, I think I'm one of the luckier people that knows it's just stupid. It's just dumb. <laughs> Thank you. We have a question over here with you there. Hello. Hi. Um, I've got a question. I've been wondering since you walked out. Okay. What's your coffee order? Um, actually, I was offered a this Australian. It's like a something. It's from McDonald's. Uh, it's like an Australian, Australian also or something. Australiano. Uh, Australiano and um. They just asked me if I wanted it, I'm like, sure. And so I got it. It just tastes like a latte, really. It doesn't really taste much like anything, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we had some people over here. What's over there? Uh, well, you can choose whichever one of those people you want to uh, The person with the microphone is the one with the power. Let's go, power hand! Hi. Hi. Uh, 
just wanted to know what you think of your official title as the Queen of Germany. Honestly, and the Queen of Adamant from I will just, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? It's not necessarily a lie, is it? I mean, I'm oddly, it's funny actually you said that. Story time. Uh, so I met Joey's parents the other day, Joey being the anime man. And the first thing his dad said to me was like, Oh, that's not the Queen of the Generous, eh? Or whatever, you know, that's my Australian accent, by the way. <laughs> and it's just, I honestly didn't know how to respond to that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm quite proud of it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and we've got uh, some people over here. Trying to get around to all the different people. I was just wondering, like, what's like one of your past views that you had the most fun with me? I'm sorry, can you say it one more time? Like, what was like one of your past videos that you had like the most fun making it? <laughs> That's hard because like, I I was asked this before, and I think that's always going to be the answer of like, I really liked doing the SOV Land video, and I think it really awoken my something in me that makes me want to do girls bars videos and honestly just here we are night down left okay i don't <laughs> yes that it's made sense i hope so <laughs> uh more questions we've got someone over here let's go hand up like yes teacher i know the answer <laughs> you yes just hi sydney hey what's up I can't say this on the podcast, but I wanted to confirm. Did you actually walk down the aisle of your wedding to God's estate? I did, yes, I did. Um, <laughs> actually, it's a, it's a funny story. I don't know if, if you guys went to the panel yesterday, you already already said it, but. Um, <laughs> so when we were waiting on the other side of the door while Garth was waiting at the end of the aisle before I walked down, um, you know, if you know Guts' theme, you know it goes like, ah, you know, like, yeah, that one part. And, um, but before that, there's like women kind of like screaming a bit. They're like, ah, that's me singing Guts' theme. Um, and so I had to edit it a bit to make sure, like, it was just like the da da da, and then it was just also the singing. Um, so we opened the door to the ceremony room. And my bridesmaids, you know, it's kind of really the first time doing bridesmaid stuff. So right when we opened the door, before anybody said anything, they just like rushed in. And like there wasn't a lot of time, you know, it was supposed to be spaced out a bit. Um, and so they all went in and then just for a good 30 seconds, I didn't move. Because I said, I'm going to walk down when the guy starts being angelic and, you know, singing like, ah! And, um, and I could just, I could feel it before my, my dad was just like, come on, let's go. And I'm like, no. I'm having this. And I could feel, I could feel Garth just being just like petrified. Like, I'm not coming out, everybody else has went in. Um, but, you know, it went on, in the end I did it. He was sobbing like a little baby, and in the end we're married. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have one more choose which is better game for you. Oh God. In terms of bar. So we've chosen, you know, yeah. as wife here. Now you have to rank these bars. Okay. As so, best you can. Uh, so I think you can click on Okay, okay. Yeah. So I will start first with the succubus bar. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, when I recorded this, I think it was the first time I ever did a collab with anybody in terms of the bars. And I did it with my friend Karen, um, who's Demon Dice Karen. Um, and honestly, it was it was a banger and a half. On there was so much there that I wasn't expecting. Like I didn't expect the tequila Ferris wheel. You know, I didn't expect so many things. I, and it would be just an embarrassment to say it's anything but S tier. Okay. Yes. Um, steampunk girl bar. Have you guys? Okay. Have any of you guys not watched any of these videos by the way? Because if not, I will do a very vague description. I think we want a bank description. Okay, oh shit, I should have just started that. <laughs> okay, so, Steampunk Bar was a bar that I went to with my now husband, Gart. Um, essentially, it was themed around being steampunk, but they added a lot of things in there that weren't very steampunk, like, such as getting whipped, um, and also, like, 
Gar there was a scene where Gar was like had to act like a baby with a baby bottle and like a bib um, to get a tequila. <laughs> the baby bottle was filled with tequila, um, and essentially it's just like it was it's, it's splendid. And it would be an embarrassment not to say it was S tier because that was S tier. Okay. So you're just you're. You're not going to actually break things. No, I'll just like, no, I'm going to tell you. There is some, okay, there's some on here that I will probably yeah. break because I'm not entirely happy with. Oh, what is that one? Oh, is that the Odeho factory? I think so. No, 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 oh no, it's the Monster Girl. Oh. Mm. Okay, um, okay. You can choose what the pictures mean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is my life, so that's like, literally like that. Like, psychological thing where it's like, this blot looks like that day my mother left me. Um, <laughs> well, I think this is already showing some yeah, kind of, if we had some psychologists, psychiatrists oh, yeah. in the room. Yeah. I can only imagine <laughs> the aftershock. Um, this is Opai Ramen. Mm -hmm. Essentially, this is a ramen shop um, in Tokyo that's being run by a single woman that, uh, I'm going to burp. Coffee just makes me, it just obliterates my, my gas. Anyway, um, it's, and it's honestly, it's an impressive, she is probably one of the most impressive women I have ever met. She got this ramen shop because she was one of the top hostesses in um, Shinjuku. Uh, you don't know what a hostess is, I, it's literally like, oh God. It, it, uh, these people know what a hostess is. Yeah, you know, Do what, you know what a hostess is? Yeah. No, we can't hear you. Do you know what a hostess is? You know. Yes. Um, essentially, she was the top and she got a guy to buy it. And, um, and she had a life, she doesn't use any internet. She doesn't even have, like, the cell phone she had is a cell phone from the 90s. And she's just, she, if you see the video, you know she's quite the character. And she's well known for making opai ramen, which essentially she just varies a very low cut top. Her, her boobs are big. Uh, and she shakes them a lot while she's making ramen for you in front of you. And I went and just kind of interviewed her and made opai ramen with her. And it was honestly, I think in a way, after I was done recording, I felt like I didn't do enough. Like, I just feel like she did enough for me. So in terms of like, although the video, it was bang, it was S tier by far. I think in terms of I should have made it somehow a bit more uh, special in a Sydney type of way. So I'll give it an A. You know, which is A for effort, really. Um, for the nun bar, you know, the nun girls bar is really self-explanatory. Uh, it's a bar where girls are dressed as nuns. I'll, I, it's literally that simple. It's not much to it. Um, I went to this bar with my friend Karen uh, again, and honestly, although uh, I do like it was a good, fun experience, I do think the bar didn't offer a variety of kind of things to do. It kind of was just kind of a bar where the girls dressed up as nuns and didn't really offer much. So in terms of, it wasn't like my most entertaining video. Honestly, I hate to do it. I gotta give myself a little C on that one. Cause it was not, it was not something I personally would rewatch again. <laughs> um, Oh, the Muscle Girl, no, 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 need I, need I say yeah. more, need I say more of the Muscle Girl bar video? That one, okay, literally, some of the story, Muscle Girls. Mm. And they crush, like, like, would put, like, fruit, you know, they crush it, they make your cocktails with, like, the crushing the fruit, to their thighs, wherever, you know, like, and they like, oh my god. If you haven't seen that video, or if, if, if you haven't, uh, uh, what is words, because you need to go to this bar. If when, next time you guys go to Japan, if you don't go to the Muscle Girl bar, I swear to god, you guys are missing out. It is. Also, the, the drinks are very cheap. It stays up till 3 a.m., which is really nice in Tokyo. And the girls are super nice and attentive. And it shows in the video. It's really like, it's one of my most favorite videos I've ever, ever done because it was through and through to the beginning to end. Just so much fun that it, I forgot I was doing a video sometimes. Honestly, S tier by far. I, I'd love to hear an argument against what, that. What do you like? about muscle girls? What's I, your favorite thing about them? I like that they could kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I like that if they just like lifted a finger and it touched my throat, I, I would die 100%. So you're a muscle girl TikTok fan? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm here for it. I, I especially, I just like the ones where they like do put fruit and they like crush it into their thighs. And, you know, yeah, like the watermelon. You know, the variety. Like, and they just make a bunch of different drinks with it. It's just like, I mean, if there's sweats in there, that's just a plus. You know? Yeah. Add salt. So, yeah. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> is the Monster Girl Cafe, which is, honestly, I, when I first went, I thought it was going to be a bar, but I was wrong. It was actually a cafe. Um, I actually stumbled across this when I was on Instagram, uh, and uh, I personally really liked the video. Uh, I do think there wasn't a lot that was offered there in terms of things to do that was interesting or related to Monster Girls. Like the food, it was Monster Girl themed. But I mean, what, I could kind of show you guys a Monster Girl or Monster themed cafe really anytime, anywhere. So it didn't feel all that unique. Um, I, I mean, the, the owner and her staff were very unique. I mean, like. Honestly, is pro she's probably also one of the most interesting people I've met. She knows, like, randomly I'd be sitting there and I'd see, like, this really prized, rare item. I'd be like, oh my god, how'd you get that? And she's like, oh, well, I know the guy who made the anime for this, so he just gave it to me. And I was like, what the hell? And then I was like, but, um, honestly, in terms of my, I, I'd say it was kind of, god, it wasn't abysmal, it wasn't terrible, but it really wasn't unique. I mean, uh, it's probably one of my least, and when I was out in D, I know, I'm very sad. And with the Funny Girl video as well, which is the last one, um, honestly, when I was there, I, I, I always wanted to do a Bunny Girl bar video because when I decided to start doing bar girl videos, I was actually in a Bunny Girl bar. And, um, you know, I, I personally, I, if I'm going to a girls bar in my off time, I usually try to go to Bunny Girls bars because I have, I do have a, uh, a little, I love them. I love the way, I, you know, I just, I love them, okay? I don't think anybody of us disagrees that Bunny Girl outfits are like, not S tier. But like, let's be honest here. I, does anybody disagree on that? That Bunny Girl outfits are anything less than godlike? No. <laughs> Stop lying to yourself. But, um, so when I was able to find the go-to one, I was very hyped. However, I did decide to kind of do this for more of an Easter theme, but Bunny Girl Bars don't offer a lot of different things like, that I kind of like doing now. The kind of things like, I've experienced a little bit of the higher taste of girls bars in terms of quirkiness, so just seeing kind of girls in costumes and being served drinks and maybe doing shisha a little bit, it doesn't really cut it for me anymore. I, my, you know, my fetishes, are not my fetishes, no, I feel like um, my tastes are a bit higher now. So I, uh, I honestly was not happy with um, the girls' bars. By the way, when I say I'm not happy, with, like I mean with the video content I did myself. The bars are excellent, of course. I don't think I even need to explain that. I think it's obvious. I mean, it's girls, the bunny girls' bar. But I don't think it was all that interesting or rewatchable. It definitely was not my favorite. Uh, so I think actually even more than the Monster Girl is probably my least favorite video I've done. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. So, yeah, that's kind of deprived, like, depressing to end on. Like, hey guys, this is a video I did that I didn't like that I did. So, I have got two questions for you in regards to bars. Okay. The first one being, if you could manage one of these bars, like run it, which one would you choose to run? I think the Muscle Girls bar, just so I could like look at them. <laughs> I can just be like, I can just like indulge them. They're like, oh hey, my back is sweaty. Let me, and I'm like, oh let me just get a towel and wipe you off a little, you know? Like, let me just like, it's like, they'd be like, every day would be fun. There'd always be something, and that's one of the things I love about being there. Is like they had so much. They had like a workout station in a bar where they actually like, you can get a drink, and they're like, okay, let me teach you how to work out of it. And it's like, I, I guess um, as a manager, I think it's by law required that you know. It's like, I would, it would definitely be that. Okay. Now, it's either or. Which one would you rather work in? Or what kind of, if you could create your own bar, what do you think is missing from the bar scene? If there's anything, it kind of seems like everything is covered. You would think that, but there is some things that I think um, would be really chaotic but really light. Like, for, for girls' bars, usually it's pretty service level ideas, you know, like, oh, uh, 
you know, an idol girl bar or a, you know, this, that, and the other. I think we could do it, you know, a step further. I think, really, girls' bars need to be a little more creative. Like, although, yes, there are plenty of creative ones, I think we could go a little deeper, you know? I'd like, I would like a, a, a like nipple color girl. I'm not, maybe not nipple color. Uh, honestly, it's the first thing that came up. Nipples are always the first thing I think about. Um, or like, blood type. I don't know. It's just like weird things that are like, why would, that wouldn't be sexy. That, why would you want, how would you make this a theme? It's just like something unique like that. It's, it's being too easy. Like, uh, do you want another schoolgirl girls bar? Come on. Literally, we can buy a schoolgirl's cosplay anywhere. And I think this is, too, this is just, it's too easy. Give me something. Give me something, Japan. I'm begging you. I'm thirsty here. Well, I think that's what you've got to do when you, yeah. when you go back. Wait, wait, you just got to yeah. start and go from there. Just like blood cell, blood cell <laughs> girl bar. I, there's a market for that. Uh, we are almost out of time. You have a message for all the lovely people who come out to see you. Well, honestly, the fact that I walked out here and there was like even like one person was kind of weird. I honestly was just like, I was talking to like my handlers and I was just like, well, what if nobody's out there? Like, what are you going to do about it? What are you gonna, how are you gonna rip it? So, thank you for coming is what I'm trying to get at. Um, thank you for finding my disgusting, uh, <laughs> not disgusting, I don't know. Entertaining. Entertaining chaos. Entertaining. Um, and thank you honestly for taking time out of like the con to even come sit here and listen to this stupid, uh, stupid little sly minx um, talk. Um, Honestly, I don't really know what to say. Just keep on keeping on. I love you. <laughs>